Hey YouTube, stay tuned for another episode of the 125 gallon reef build. Alright YouTube, this is Brian coming at you again today with another episode of the 125 gallon reef build that I'm doing. Today we're going to talk about the uh, plumbing and sump that I've installed. As you can see the reef is still empty. It does have water in it now, just tap water. I'm running running it uh, with the sump. But I'll show you what I've done underneath here. This is the uh, eShop's RS300 pump, pump, sump, sorry. And we're going Berlin style if I didn't already mention that. So there's not going to be a refugium in here. But as you can see, it is running and everything is plumbed. Um, I basically did it myself with PVC pipe. These are the hoses that come with the sump. But as you can see, the uh, uh, drain and returns are there. I've used these, I forget what they're called, uh, or the type of uh, check valves, I forget what they're called, but on both sides, you can see here, I used all PVC except for just uh, some sections so I could have a little bit of flexibility on the uh, return lines. Um, and then I used a ball valve right here so that I can, um, if I do need to um, take the pump off or anything, it would be a lot easier to stop it. There's the other check valve. And then as far as a pump goes, I'm using a CJ, I believe it's the 5000. Uh, do I have the box right over here? No, I don't. But as you can see, it's down there. Let's see if we can't get... There's a zoomed up on the label on the CJ pump. So yeah, things are running well. Um, take you under the hood up here real quick and just kind of show you the drain and return. I've got the, the corner um, overflows. Um, kind of wish that I had didn't have the corner ones, but it is what it is and that's what I got to live with. Um, I did end up using some, uh, some of this waterproof tape stuff. It's the crap that you see on those infomercials actually to seal up the uh, the holes on on each of these returns. They're, um, they're like a hole that uh, cuts off the siphon or something like that. It's not needed, but it was super loud because water was coming out of the hole. And then you can see my return nozzles. Same on both sides. Just cut a quick sneak peek, I think, at the lights, which will be a separate episode, but. Anyway, things are running good. Um, I don't have any media in the sump yet don't have the skimmer in as you can see also so those will be things that are added at a later date but I wanted to kind of take you through step by step and show you what things are looking at at this point and what kind of progress I've been making so that's really about it kind of a short episode right now but if you have any questions let me know please like comment and subscribe share this video and uh, until next time, take care.